Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Warrior has come back to the Hearthstone meta after the big balance patch in United in Stormwind, and this is one of the better performing Warrior decks. It's still like a tier 2, maybe even tier 3 deck, but it's a playable deck. It's one of the approaches to Quest Warrior, because Warrior got a bunch of pirate buffs, so Quest Warrior seems like a natural choice. There are basically two styles of Quest Warrior that you can play. You can play a very aggressive, almost an aggro deck, or you can tune it more into control style. I don't fully even know how to categorize this deck, because this has a bunch of control tools, so for example HS Replay calls this a Quest Control Warrior. But on the other hand, it also resembles a mid-range deck, because it has this steady curve of threats that it's playing. And its control tools are a little bit limited, so you can only control the game in some of the games depending on your draw. Like yeah, there is Bladestorm, there's Rancor, there's Lord Barrow, and your top threat is Rattlecore, which is a very control-oriented card. But you just don't have the consistency in drawing those control tools. So games with this deck, sometimes you're playing a control role, sometimes you're just playing a mid-range style deck and putting on threat after threat. In addition to control tools, Rattlecore and some pirates, there's also the overall Sourfan package in this deck, and overall Sourfan package even got better thanks to the buff to Stonewall Anchorman, because now it's a 4 6. So Sourfan resurrects Anchorman and Crash from this deck. Those are your only Frenzy minions, so those are the ones that can come out of Sourfan. And if you get any bonus Anchorman, you immediately draw cards from them, because Sourfan also does one damage to them, and Crash, you immediately gain the armor. As for the mulligans with this deck, you're usually not going for your control tools, they are just not consistent enough. Instead, you're going for the quest, and you're going for as many early game pirates as you can find. Harbor Scamp, Stormwind Freebooter, Blood Cell Deck, and Cargo Guard. These are the best cards to mulligan for. There might be some situations where you can go for something different, especially if you have a combination of cards that works well together, but in general, this is what you go for. Then you play each game either in mid-range style, just putting on threats, or you play a little bit more control style, trying to maximize the value of your removal pieces, depending on what you happen to draw. And now, let's go take a look at this quest control warrior in action. I'm expecting this to be an aggro root as well, maybe I need the barrel sword on board. Now that it's being offered. But this risk that I might draw blanks and then I might not be able to do anything. Yeah. That's blank. Oof. And that's an aggro bird. So I need to try to swing it with Barrow Sword and board at some point. Sense. Oh boy. What is it? Hey, look at that. A fairly reasonable turn one. I've tried Big Warrior. I have not, but I have seen that Big Warrior has finally reached 50% win rate. But I thought some quest handlock seems to be still good. I have to kill those peasants. Because I just can't let them keep drawing cards. They already got two free cards from those. Then I have the Barrow Sword and board at some point. Probably in response to their... Making all of my stuff more expensive is tough. Let's see. If I can survive the Arbor Up, Barrow Sword and Board is the answer to it, but I might also die to the Arbor Up. Now with the Divine Shield minion in play, that's gonna be a problem too. Because Divine Shield minion obviously survives the Barrow. Arrow sword and board play. And they get to draw another four cards. How about that? Need to get this sword eater out there. So I'll kill the divine shield minion here, but that means more cards for the druid. And even if I kill clear one board, that means another. Like this card draw that they got here with the double peasant, and then the good composting is just insane. You're on the wrong tree. I think I must wait one turn with the answer. Hope that I can pick up something useful. 
because they will easily rebuild. I have to get them, and they will draw three more cards as well. I have to get, the only chance I have is to get them to draw something. I can do Rancor. Nine cards in hand on turn six. Try Big Warrior. Okay. Can do that. I still have a weapon charge. Two Divine Shield minions. Three Divine Shield minions. Oh no. It's too many Divine Shield minions. That's too many. And there's a couple of them. I will not be can kill that one at hero power here. Okay. No, not more pack mules. Yikes. They have so many resources, they can easily rebuild. They can easily rebuild after the barrow clear. That's the real problem. Okay, we get rid of the first starboard up here. This is as planned, but they still have plenty of resources remaining. This is as planned. Grab your cutlass. Let's buckle swash. I'm at thirteen. I still need to equip the axe. Okay, this is where going starts to get tough. They have five cards in hand. Oh no, not an oracle top deck. Oh no. Ah. So I swing and kill this one. That will give me a card. I have to get rid of the Oracle. Arbor is not lethal. This goes there. This goes there. The bigger Anchorman comes in and kills the Oracle. And the free booter so that I get the so that I get the random damage. Hopefully I kill both one once. Okay. We just might be turning this around. Three cards left in the druid's hand. Do I want the armor? I'm at 11. Probably not, but let's see. I can afford to kill that. With my weapon? I'll go down to 7. But I gain another 5 armor here. I, will I can afford to kill that with my weapon. This one kills that one. We get the cargo guard on the board. Going to 10 is enough. In a box? Hmm. 
Going to ten is enough. Ruit has only two cards. Yes, this will be fine. This goes there. I could even go there with this one, right? Do I want to draw a card? I don't have to draw a card. I can use that. And get Rokara. And another Gargo guard. And a hero power. And we're at 11, Druid is down to one card. And I have the Juggernaut. Oof. Some remarkable resilience from the Pirate Warrior. Okay. The Druid. I guess that does not count as good. Because I had nothing. I had nothing I could play or do. Need more pirates. Still need more pirates. Well, that's a pirate. Don't think this is going to be a death rattle demon hunter, right? <laughs> Gotta get through me. Too slow, sea dog. I don't think I'm attacking into the far witch post here. Probably have a cargot for next turn. Pleasure doing business. Yep, that's a death rattle demon hunter. So this is a Kargath turn, right? That's where Kargath comes in. But I can kill that. But I can kill that. That goes face. And next turn I will draw a weapon. Too bad the harvest camp costs three, so that means that I can't actually can't actually use the weapon immediately. card that they kept and they just refused to play. That's a weird dilly dirty timing too. This will this will get me the weapon. And I think I'm sword on boarding that one. Space with this. Next turn's a little bit more interesting. Is it even going to be an axe turn? What does the Demon Hunter have? They have the coin and the card that they kept, so it's, it's not like the Death Speaker. Coming on six. Potentially swinging the game around. Maybe. Okay, that was pretty sweet. A stage dive. I could also do like axe. This gets me some card draw, but I might just go for the pirates here. The sword eater. Give the timbers and the curtress. Push face with these. Okay. Really curious. Card that was kept and not played for five turns. Oh, a Skull of Gul'dan. Well, I guess that makes sense. Did it give them playable cards? Some. Four plus three. Stage dive, get crash and push. 
Then I also have to steal two damage to random enemy twice. If I play an anchor man. This is the best chance I have to get an anchor man out there. Let's use it. See what comes out. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.